everyone, I'm Will Jamison, sophomore computer science major here at the school. So, I first started getting involved in computer programming when I was in eighth grade in high school, and I was really tired of doing all those long, annoying algebra problems. So, I was that really weird kid that actually took the time and read the calculator manual. And as you can see, I was pretty weird, but I. I taught myself or how to program and program the calculator to do my math homework for me. And right then and there, I, I fell in love with the efficiency that computer programming allowed you to do and the hack, or another way around something. From there, I continued to learn programming independently. And I published my first iPhone application as a sophomore in high school. It was just a simple utility that generated excuses for kids got out of situations. So, I didn't like doing my homework, and when I didn't do it, I wanted an excuse to get out of it. <laughs> so I went on from there, just started learning more algorithms and enhancing my computer science skills, and didn't really do anything too exciting until this last summer, which was the most qu craziest, wild, painful summer of my life, but one of the most enjoyable times, too. So I was sitting on the couch, watching TV with my family, um, I was trying to take a Snapchat, send it to a friend. It was dark out, dark in the room, and I got a black screen, realized it was impossible. So was, the first thing that came to thought was, there's got to be an app for that. Bought on my phone, looked through the app store, nothing there. So I was like, hmm, I can make that. So me being a computer science major, I went down to my basement, put on some boxers, drank a Mountain Dew, and <laughs> coded this app up as a fun project. Never thought it was going to take me anywhere, then ended up submitting it to the Google Play Store. And then instantly it just took off, went viral. It got picked up by multiple app review websites and I was ecstatic because it was just a fun project for me that I never thought was going to go anywhere. Um, after it started getting success, I went on a trip with Dr. Starr, the chair of the computer science department, and a couple other CS students to the Silicon Valley where we met with uh, Google, Facebook, Amazon, and a bunch of local startups. For me, seeing myself as being a potential startup company, the startups was for sure the most, my favorite part of the trip. I learned, really made sure I learned what they were doing, what goals they set, to see I could, how I could eventually do that myself. So I came back home really inspired um, and wanted to do something more. And I was coming home from tennis practice one day, pulled up my laptop, went out of my favorite internet blog called Mashable. Um, I'm on the front page. It says, in search of the ultimate selfie. And I was like, all right, sounds interesting. I click on it. And there's my face right there on my favorite website on the home page. And I'm blown away. I'm already ecstatic, inspired, and that just like threw me over the top. That, and they never contacted me about the thing either. I just randomly saw myself on Mashable. And so I, I came up with a new idea the following day. So the Android had a problem. You couldn't save your Facebook photos directly to your hard drive. You had to screenshot it, which was not a good solution, I didn't think. So I was like, I'm going to make an app for this. But I had no time because I was teaching tennis five hours a day and then went to go play with friend, tennis or just hang out with friends the other time. So I was like, great idea, but no time to do it. So 4th of July rolls around the corner. I'm at the lake with my family, friends, tubing with my sister. And all of a sudden, I fall off and I'm in a ton of pain. I look down at my arm and my shoulder is straight up chilling in my bicep. And Oh, it was bad. Three hours and a lot of painkillers later, my shoulder was put back in place, and I get shoulder surgery the next week. So, see you later, tennis. I'm done. My arm's just chilling at the side in the sling. I got one arm. And I'm pretty frustrated, but the, what it did give me was it gave me a lot of free time, and that was what I needed. I needed the free time. So, I was like, all right, I'm going to be productive. Take advantage of this. So, I developed Facebook photo downloader, wall in the sling, coding with one hand. Never, ever recommend typing with one hand. And that uh, went viral, like, in two days. I was shocked. It didn't get the PR that Front Flash got, but it was peaking with downloads at around 10,000 a day and was in the top 100 apps on the Google Play Store. And that was pretty overwhelming to me. And then Facebook decides, hey, this is cool. We're going to implement it ourselves. So Facebook ended up putting it in their app, and mine essentially became worthless. But not only did they do that, a week later, I get an email. It says, enforcement management. So Facebook sends me a threatening email saying my app's in violation of their copyright. <laughs> so I'm like, whoa, Facebook. I mean, I was like, all right, Facebook views me as a threat. I must be doing something right. <laughs> but at the same time, I had to change something relating to my app. 
And so at that point, I was like, all right, I need to form an LLC to give me a little bit of protection in case this, something else like this happens later down the road. So there I formed Supreme Apps LLC. And since then, I've published two more applications and for the Android, and I ported Front Flash uh, to the iPhone as well. Throughout this whole process, I've always known how to code, but business is just as important as, as the coding. Because you can make it, put it out there, no one will get to it. So I learned so much more than I ever thought I would. Online marketing strategies, advertising campaigns, target audience, search engine optimization with your apps within the App Store. And I'm even going through a rebranding process with one of my apps to see if I can get it to take off anymore. So business is just as important for me, and I learned more than I ever thought I would this summer doing that. Another thing this did is it provided me with tons of opportunities that I never thought I'd get the chance for. Since being back in Charleston, three local startups have contacted me wanting me to, wanting me to do development work for them. I'm currently working with Copilot Taxi Service to develop an app for them. And I'm also working for another startup company that I'm under NDA, so I can't talk about it. But I'm real pumped for its release because I think it's going to be something people are going to like. Um, looking back at this whole experience, uh, one thing I really look at and say is anyone can do something like this. You just have the good idea and be willing to do a little independent learning on your own and put yourself out there to be vulnerable. A lot of times people are just afraid to just put something out there, but I took a risk, put products I developed out in the market, and turned out to work in my best interest. So thanks for listening, guys. Appreciate it.